This is the spelling portion of the Names and Nombres CER writing homework. We're going to review things to make you successful to completing your Spelling City assignment. The purpose of Spelling City is to build on your vocabulary to improve your reading and writing skills. The more you build your vocabulary, the easier it is to understand the readings. When you log into your homework form, the first thing you're going to see is part one, which is your Spelling City. You're going to log into Spelling City and complete the first and only um, activity for this assignment. And you're going to complete your practice vocabulary test. Once you're done with your vocabulary test, you're going to record your score on your homework form. Here are some steps to help you log into Spelling City. You have two ways to log in. You can log in on the app on your iPad or you can go to Safari, Chrome, or Firefox to type in the website to access SpellingCity.com. Once you do that, you're going to um, come to the login page and you're going to push log in on the page. You're going to use your PowerSchool login as your username and password to log into Spelling City. How to find this? You can look on your school schedule to find your PowerSchool login. Once you log in, you need to make sure that you are on your English teacher's website. If you have Ms. Grant, it should say Ms. Grant at the top. If you have Ms. Papazian for English, it should say Ms. Papazian at the top. Once you see that, you will see the assignment to pop up for you to complete. Once you are done with this assignment, it will disappear, letting you and the teacher know that you have fully completed this assignment. We are only doing one assignment for this homework form because we're practicing for our CER writing assessment at the end of this week. And it's your vocabulary test me. That is a practice test to help you understand what words you need to work on and what words you already know to be successful on your vocabulary test at the end of this week. Once you're done with your vocabulary, you're going to go back to your your homework form, like I said in the beginning, and record your score. We want kids to push towards a four, an A, which is 90% to 100%, or three, a B, to 80% to 89%. That lets us know that you're on track to understanding what's going on. I hope that helped you out. See you next time.